Russia state TV urges citizens not to panic. While shoppers Tuesday were snapping up big ticket imported items before they get crazily more expensive. Would the collapse of the ruble topple the Russian economy? I can assure you that Russia would not only survive, but would come out stronger out of this. We have been in much worse uh, situations in our history, and every time uh, we were getting out of this uh, fixes uh, much stronger. Probably we're able to give more reliable targets to market participants' expectations through measures on additional volumes of currency liquidity, which I've already spoken about, through measures of increasing volumes of ruble liquidity. Monday's drastic 6.5 percentage point rate hike by the central bank had a short-lived support on the ruble. Next on the cards, the central bank could take massive direct interventions. And let's say the ruble realm means capital controls could be increasingly likely for Russia. But others argue that capital controls would make it harder for Russian firms to roll over their external debt. They're already capital starved due to Western sanctions. How long the Russian crisis lasts depends on when oil prices hit bottom. Until then, Russia's economy will suffer because of shrinking exports. The plunging ruble would trigger runaway inflation. Russia's crisis is likely to have knock-on effects on economies such as Ukraine, Moldova and Georgia with high Russian labor populations. So far, Russians have been relatively conditioned to economic woes compared with other Europeans. Many of them have gone through at least three panics in the past 25 years. The latest events could be a painful reminder to diversify the energy-dominant economy.